going on, y'all? Listen, man, we got to talk about this viral video that came out of Louisiana. I'm about to show you this video and a news clip to go along with it of this crazy shooting that happened in Louisiana. And we're going to talk about our thoughts afterwards, okay? people were found dead at Parkview Apartments. Nigel Hood joins us now live from the Monroe Police Department. And Nigel, what more can you tell us? Well, Jennifer, this is actually the sixth violent crime we've reported on coming out of Parkview Apartments just since June. I spoke to local leaders who feel it's time to hold the complex accountable to make some changes. If every other apartment complex have regulation, they have policies for tenants that stay there, why can't Parkview? Monroe police responded to Parkview Apartments just before 7.30 this morning. They say they discovered the bodies of two men with gunshot wounds. Family members identified the victims as Oya Smith and LaMarcus Plater. LaMarcus is one of the friendliest cousins you probably can ever meet and ask for. And give you the shirt off his back. Washita Parish Police Juror Lonnie Hudson says he was devastated to hear of his cousin's death. He says Parkview is notorious for violent crimes and police need to step up its security presence. Right now, we need to focus on uh, the oversight and how we can correct this and, and see what we can do move forward from today. Washita Parish Police Juror Michael Thompson's grandmother lives at the complex. He says people in leadership also need to be held accountable. Something needs to be done there, and I believe it starts at the top. It's going to have to start with the council or whomever to make sure that they hold that, 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 that uh, apartment complex accountable for the things that are happening in that area. Hudson says he hopes this will open a dialogue for families to discuss gun violence. So guns don't kill people. People kill people. And it's, un it's, it's, it's it, we got to break it down to them that this type of uh, violence and crime in our community uh, has to stop. Now, when I saw this, the first thing that popped up in my head was what the hell did they do? In the video, you can hear at the end of the video, the dude that does the shooting, the initial shooting, you can hear him say, I'm down to go to jail by that. You already know. So those two dudes, they did something. Now they passed. They those Those men died right there in that video, as you can see. Now, one thing that was pretty interesting to me was the guy that's shooting at the end of the video. If you see the, the, the first dude is shooting, he shoots the first dude in front of him. Then he runs and chases the other guy to the, to, to the white that ran to the white car. Right. And then he runs off. And then after that, you hear gunshots go off. I thought that that guy was shooting at the original shooter. No. That guy is shooting at the white car. So these guys are still at large, okay? You got a 22-year-old male, you got a 19-year-old male, and then you got a 28-year-old male. They're all at large, and 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 they're going to throw them under the jail. They got it on camera, clear as day. You can hear somebody, there's somebody in the background who's clearly yelling out the suspect's name. Like, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. And I'm just like... In his head, it was. In his head, it was. You know what I'm saying? So uh, sometimes you can get into a situation where somebody can do something crazy to you. Now, we can't judge. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of men out here, what's the first thing they say? Oh, if somebody 
were to, you know, all word my mother or all word my sister or something like that, like they're gonna they, they're gonna kill him or something like that. Or if somebody ever disrespects my kid or touches my kid, I'm gonna kill him or whatever. Like you don't know what these. But hold on, hold on, wait. Before I say that, now I'm, let's separate it because I don't know. I, I don't know what they did. I, I don't know nothing about what they did. All, all I know is is that they did something. That was a targeted shooting, and they did that, and, 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 and the person who did it, the people who did it, was in broad daylight, and they knew that they were witnesses, but they were absolutely ready to, they're absolutely ready to take their consequences, even though they are large right now. But moving on past that, there's a lot of situations where people have, everybody has a limit. Everybody, if you're a human being, no matter how nice you are, there is something there is, you don't know yourself until the experience happens. There is something that will push you to the breaking point, okay? If, if you're a loving mother, somebody doing something to your kid will push you to the breaking point. You know what I'm saying? If you're a devoted um, husband, somebody doing something to your wife will push you to the breaking point. And, and sometimes... You can't judge, man. You can't judge sometimes. Like, I want to know. I'm going to follow this up because this is just an insane story. I want to know what happens. You know, what's the what's the get there? Like, what, what really happened between, you know, all parties involved? But whatever happened absolutely happened for a reason, for sure. Sometimes you got to gotta plan things out and you got to think things through. OK, you can't just be in the heat of the moment and just decide to run off and do something crazy. Now, I've been in that exact situation where it's just like you want to do something crazy. Somebody just did something to you. You got word back. Somebody somebody said what or somebody did. Nah, man, it's just like sometimes you kind of got to take a breather and then weigh out all the scenarios and maybe these suspects did maybe they did but being as how one of them is 19 like there's three suspects i only saw two shooters so there must have been somebody else behind this there was somebody else like behind the car in the car that was shooting also one of them is 19 life thrown away i'm not sure if he thought that through and then on another thing that was kind of stupid though the dude who shot at the end of the video, the dude who you can see that I said that I thought was shooting at the shooter, he didn't even need to do that. He just shot at the car. He wasn't even aiming at anybody. Like, I, I when he shoots, I see somebody run from behind the car. They might have got hit. But in my head, I'm just like, your man just did all the work. Like, he just did all the hard work. Like, you just ended up throwing yourself in the mix on this without you needing to like this man shot up the whole scene the whole parking lot ran away and at the end when he's done doing what he's doing you just to say you was there you shoot too that was dumb that was dumb it didn't even look like they came together the dude was in a in, in a freaking it looked like he lived there so it's not like they rolled up there together it didn't look like that at, at, at least it's not like they rolled up there together because he looked like he had on like home clothes if they would have rolled up there then it's just like okay i gotta you know what i mean but the dude is there, chilling. He already shot up the whole thing, and you're going to throw your life away. Now you're going to get indicted on a double murder when you could have just been a witness. Or not even a witness. You could have just been free. You know what I mean? Like, nah, that's that, that that's, that's, that's kind of crazy. But anyways, like I was saying, sometimes you got you to gotta take a breather and plan things out. And these guys may have done that. There are certain scenarios, like I was saying, that everybody has a breaking point. You fuck around and do something crazy and somebody taps onto your breaking point, you 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 won't care about jail or none of that. You see what I'm saying? Everybody has that point or whatever. So sometimes it might be worth it to you in your head to go out like this. Sometimes it might be worth it in your head. You know what I'm saying? And on the outside it doesn't look like that. And other times, you know, it's probably not worth it. When you're 19. When you're 19 and you just throw, like, you did that and you do that, that's, that's, I, I don't know how well a 19 year old can think through of throwing his whole life away. And that other guy, the second guy that just shot at the car, I don't think he thought that through either. I don't think he thought that through either, to be honest with you. Because if he did, he would have realized that his man just did everything. So, but the, but the guy who did the original shooting, it, he seemed like he thought that through. <laughs> He might have he might have thought that through because he was like, I'll go to jail behind that. You already know. Hey, 
Let's keep, let's, I'm, I'm going to keep following this one, man. I'm going to keep y'all posted. Like I said, a 22-year-old male, a 19-year-old male, and an 18-year-old male. They're all looking for him right now. This just happened in an apartment complex that had six murders since June. So, we're going we gonna to get to it, man. Listen, I want you guys to breathe easy.